Hey guys, it's Josh here, and I'm going to tell you how to jailbreak your iPod Touch 2nd Gen on the 4.0 software. First, you're going to download, want to download iTunes 9.2 Beta, which I have all the links in the description. The iPod Touch 2nd Gen 4.0 firmware and Red Snow 9.5 Beta 5, which I also have in the description. So first, you're going to want to install iTunes 9.2, which I already have installed, so... I don't really need to install it anyway, but bef after you install nine, iTunes 9.2, you're going to want to restore your iPod to, to the 4.0 software, just right in iTunes, without any jailbreak, it should work perfectly fine, and then you're going to want to open Red Snow, I already restored my iPod, just so you know, and you want to browse for your iPod Touch firmware, which mine's just on the desktop, click it. And then you just gotta wait for it to process it for a minute. And if if this is a newer MC model, I'm not sure if it will work, but mine is not, so I'm just gonna hit no. And then you just hit next. And you wait for it to do this stuff. So you if you want to en enable multitasking wallpaper, you just check it. Any of this stuff, but install Cydia probably everyone who jailbreaks wants that so just hit next so you want to make sure your iPod is off so once it's off what you want to do is just hit next again and enter DFU so hold the power button for three seconds after that's up keep holding it and then hold the home button for 10 seconds And then just release the power button and keep holding the home button for 30 seconds until the screen turns white. And it's just jailbreaking right now, I guess. So I'm going to pause the video. And now it's done. And just hit finish and the rest of this stuff takes place on your iPod. Okay, so now it's done jailbreaking. And as you can see, it has the wallpaper and multitasking but I don't have anything running but you get the idea and so now what you're going to want to do you can see city's icon is blank white and you don't want that so what you gotta do is go to Cydia and then wait for it to organize and stuff and just let me enter my password And then when City is done loading up, you can uh, it will just be right back to the lock screen, and you can now you have to go back to City and add a source. And once it's done downloading the stuff, you need to go to Manage, and then go to Sources, and you have to hit Edit and Add. And the source you're gonna want to add is apt dot sort sark or sork however you say his name dot com slash cydia dash three point seven and then hit add source And we'll verify the source and update it. And for some reason, for me, it never ends up actually loading, so I just have to restart Cydia myself. And after your source is loaded, just wait for this to load. Everything should just load right back up after this. I'm pretty sure it should work. So, as you can see, the home page for Cydia worked. And once this is done, I'll show you that all the sources should be there. I'll just ignore it for right now. But if you go to manage sources, they shall be there. And they are. So that's pretty much it about Cydia. And after you restart your device, the icon should eventually go back to the Cydia icon. 
And after that, you can just sync it back to your computer and you'll have a jailbroken iPod.